Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Derek and I cover Python programming tutorials. In this one, we're continuing our algorithm series and looking at the insertion sort algorithm. Let's jump over to an animation to see how this one works. The way insertion sort works is we'll take our unsorted sequence and divide it into two sublists. We'll have a sorted and an unsorted sublist. The sorted sublist will have a length of one and then all the rest of the items will go into that unsorted sublist. As the algorithm starts, we'll take the item in the very left position of that unsorted sequence and move it into the sorted sublist. Once it's in that sorted sublist, we'll compare that value to the value to its immediate left. If that value to the immediate left is higher than the item that we're trying to sort, then we change positions of those two items. We'll continue down the sorted sublist doing this over and over until we find an item that is not higher than the item we're trying to sort. Once we find that number that isn't higher than the item we're trying to sort, that means the current item that we're sorting is in the correct position, and we're free to continue on to the next iteration. Talking through our animation here, we take seven and compare it to five. Since five is smaller than seven, that means seven has been successfully sorted and we can go to the next iteration. Now, when we take four and move it into the sorted sublist, we compare it to seven. Since four is smaller than seven, we need to do a switch of the elements four and seven. Now we compare it to five, and since five is larger than four, we do a switch again. When we compare four to three, since three is smaller, that would end our iteration and we would take the next item from the unsorted sublist if we had one. If you want to try to code this one on your own before seeing the solution, pause the video here and then come back. Let's go ahead and dive into the Python code for this one. We'll open up a text editor, and like all my other algorithm videos, I'll try to code this in a way that makes sense to a beginner. You can definitely optimize this algorithm, but let's understand the logic first. We'll create our function. We'll say our function name will be insertion sort, and this will take in a sequence. We'll call that sequence list A, and then say indexing length. Remember in the beginning of our animation that the first item in our unsorted list was already in the sorted list. That's because there's no reason to consider it in the sorting operation because there's no item to the left. So for this one, we'll say range starts at one, and then it goes to the length of our list A. So we're saying all the values after that first one. Now we want to do an operation on all these values. So we'll say for every value in those indexing length values, we want to sort those values. So we'll say value to sort as a variable name, and we'll say list A in the I position. We're going one by one through our indexing length and taking these values so we can sort them. Now we'll drop down and we need to create a while loop. So the condition that we want to look for is if the value to the left is higher than the value that we're currently trying to sort. So we'll say while list A in the I minus one position, so the item to the immediate left is greater than our value to sort, meaning that the item to the left is larger than the item to the right, then we need to switch those values. We also need one more statement here and i must be greater than zero. We have to say this statement here because Python allows negative indexing. So if we had an i equal to negative one, we would actually be pulling from the last value of our unsorted list and doing a comparison on that. So we need to say i is always greater than zero. Now let's do our switch. We'll say list a in the i position and then list a in the i minus one position. So the two elements that are side by side and then do the opposite. So we'll put i minus one in the first position and then list a i. So we're just doing a swap on those two values. Now we need to continue doing comparisons down the list and we can do that by saying i is equal to i minus one. So we're just incrementally stepping down the list using this i variable. So talking through the logic, we get our value to sort and then we compare it to the item to its immediate left. If that number is larger, then we do a switch with this line here, and then we look at the next item by saying i equals i minus one. Now all we need is to return this sorted list. We'll do that by saying return list a. We'll move this code up, and let's type in print. Our function name was insertion sort. This will take in an unsorted list. So let's just type in a few numbers here. You can use whatever numbers you would like. We'll save our file, and then I'll open up a terminal. We'll execute our file by saying python3 insertion sort.py. 
And when we get back the return, we see that we've been successful in applying the insertion sort algorithm. This algorithm performs at the same complexity as the bubble and the selection sort methods. However, this one can be a little bit faster most of the time. So that's why people tend to prefer this one over those two. If you have any questions or comments about this script, please let me know. Until next time.